what do you think the risks are of not treating ADHD? I think we can uh, approach this question uh, from two different angles, in the short term and in the long term. In, in the short term, um, there is a, a very large body of evidence uh, based on randomized controlled trials pointing to very high effectiveness and good tolerability of these medications. In terms of their effect on uh, the core symptoms of ADHD, inattention, impulsivity, hyperactivity, and other uh, associated uh, disorders or problems such as neuropsychological functioning. Um, so clearly um, the risk of not treating ADHD is that we will not be able to control these symptoms, which in turn may lead to um, low self-esteem, uh, rejection from peers, um, problems with uh, family members, uh, interaction problems with peers and uh, in general with other individuals. So um, clearly in the short term um, the benefit of this uh, medication has been well uh, demonstrated. In the long term um, it, it's more um, controversial because uh, it's really difficult from a research point of view to conduct uh, methodological and sound studies to uh, assess to which extent uh, is worthy to use these medications uh, for the simple reason that it's not ethical to randomize individuals in the long term to a placebo when we know that these medications may be potentially effective. However, uh, there are um, clever um, epidemiological design studies such as self-case control where the same subject is exposed or not to the medication in different period of their life which allow us to um, understand uh, the possible long-term effect of this medication. And interesting, this body of research shows that um, uh, stimulants and other medications used to treat ADHD may have a significant, a significant impact in reducing uh, some risks associated with the disorder, such as, for example, the risk of incidental uh, physical injuries, uh, criminal acts, uh, antisocial behaviors in adults. Uh, there's been also some research around uh, the potential of this medication in reducing the risk of substance use disorder, which is a negative outcome of ADHD. And uh, findings are more controversial in this case, but it looks like in any case, these medications do not increase the risk of a substance use disorder later on. They may have also a protective effect according to some study. So overall, I would say that considering evidence from randomized controlled trial, epidemiological studies, uh, our own experience as a clinicians um, is really uh, worth it to consider a treatment of ADHD for the majority of subjects. Uh, will present with this problem. Some of them probably they will not require a long-term um, medication treatment, but in most cases this should be considered. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.